this session is the first of a monthly series where we're going to explore what Oracle releases to PBCS every month. Uh, we've taken the time to review this update so that you don't have to. C Capital Advisors is an award-winning consultancy in the areas of data management, advisory services, business intelligence, cloud applications, and solutions for the Office of Finance. eCapital's Oracle practice focuses on Oracle business intelligence and Hyperion Enterprise performance management. In addition to strategic consulting and system implementation services, eCapital Advisors offers prepackaged starter programs such as our Hyperion Upgrade Acceleration Program and our Cloud Enablement Kit. Uh, for today's webinar, we are pleased to be joined by Bob Ussett, a senior management consultant at eCapital Advisors, and Ryan Kohler, a manager at eCapital Advisors specializing in Oracle technology. Bob and Ryan, floor is yours. Thank you, David. Much appreciated. Um, so as David mentioned, uh, this is the first installment of many to come for uh, eCapital's PBCS monthly update webinars. Uh, so again, these are going to be uh, scheduled on a monthly basis, and we're really going to be running through you know, the new features, uh, bug fixes, um, some other nice-to-know tricks and tips uh, for our end users out there. Um, so that you are going to be ready to go for the time that all these new updates gets pushed into your new environment. So first of all, as a quick reminder, you know, what is PBCS? You know, that's Oracle's Planning, Budgeting, Cloud Services. Um, you know, really, PBCS is, is really Hyperion Planning um, and S-based technology on the cloud. So it's Oracle's, you know, best-in-class budgeting and planning services. Um, you know, with PBCS, uh, the end user will, you know, get a simplified interface as well as an advanced interface for more of your technical user bases. Um, you know, uh, nice financial reporting um, via PDF or HTML, a um, variety of options there. Um, also reporting through SmartView like you would have it in the past, which is really great features there. Um, a, a variety of uh, input processes uh, via uh, calculated driver-based um, input for your forecast and your budget, um, as well as nice dashboards that are easy to create uh, via PBCS. ePBCS is now available. So the E in front there stands for enterprise. Um, it's really more of a holistic approach here. So uh, ePBCS is similar to PBCS um, in that it's still best-in-class uh, forecasting and budgeting tool sets. Um, some things that separate ePBCS um, from PBCS, though, um, is really the out-of-the-box solutions. Um, so with PBCS, you're really getting um, you know, the opportunity to create your own application from scratch. Um, but with ePBCS, you're really able to get out-of-the-box workforce, uh, CapEx, uh, project planning, and other financial statements. Um, that are really, you know, Oracle's delivery from out of the box, uh, from the out of the box standpoint. Um, what this can really do is help align the entire organization, you know, with your planning process. So, with some of these out of the box solutions, you can identify where planning processes connect and try to streamline some of that data movement, um, calculations, and ultimately kind of share that data throughout the organization. Um, so, you know, ePBCS is also, you know, a very related field here and a great way to kind of combine. Um, all of the different offices in your organization.